on, yeah, you can hear me. So uh, my name is Nathan Gunter, and uh, my presentation is, so you want to be a writer? That is a terrible idea, and I'm going to tell you why. That MPW after my name, that stands for Masters of Professional Writing. That's my graduate degree. And what that means is that when society collapses, I will be the first to be eaten because I have no skills. Now, I wanted to be a writer, unfortunately, since I was born. Uh, at the age of four, my favorite toy was a typewriter. In the third grade, my report about my dream job was reporter for National Geographic, and that has not changed. Today, I am a writer. Uh, you may have seen my name in the Oklahoma Gazette. Occasionally, I write commentaries where people write letters back, responding to what I've said and saying that I'm going to hell, which for me is a great benchmark of success for the kind of writing that I do. I'm damned to eternity. Awesome. I must be doing something right. Um, but my real goal in life is to be an author, and you might think, author, writer, what the hell is the difference, Mr. Dicey Semantics? Well, the difference for me is that I want to write books, I want other people to pay to publish them, and then I want all of you to go out and buy them, and I want that to be all the work that I have to do. Now, I've written six book-length manuscripts, and this last September I got to go to, to New York. I got to pitch my most recent book to editors, two of them from Viking and Penguin asked to see my manuscript. And they said they want to see it when it's done. Remember that I said that, when it's done. Ever since that trip, people email me, they come up to me and they say, yeah, I have this great idea for a book that I want to write. How do I publish it? And I take a deep breath and I grip my teeth and I say, well, I have some bad news for you. If you want to publish a book, you have to write one. <laughs> and that sucks. And if you want to, I can stop the ride right now. We can all get off. You can go get an MBA, you can start selling crap, you can be a commodities trader. Because here's the deal, most of the people who write me that email, they're thinking, money. I'm gonna be JK Rowling and have a billion dollars in my own private theme park. I'm gonna be John Grisham and fly around in a private jet. You're not. There's no money in it. I get, let me take it from me, there's no money in it. Basically what will happen if you publish a book, in all likelihood, is that it will sit on the shelf for 30 days. Really, as few as 30 days. And your mom will go out and buy every copy she can find. But, and that'll be the money that you can keep. And so just ask your mom for the money and save yourself the trouble of writing the book. Um, because, and then, you know, after 30 days, you're gonna have to go look for another job and you're gonna have to cancel Christmas and forget it. So if you don't wanna do all the work of writing a book, forget it. But if you love working with words, writing can give you something so wonderful. It can give you so much. It will add so much to your life. But maybe you don't know how to get started. Here's how you get started. You write. <laughs> you sit your butt in a chair. And you write, and if you're like me, you'll write a sentence, and you go, no, that's terrible, delete. Write another sentence, no, that's terrible, delete. Nope, write the, se write the terrible sentence, write the terrible sentence after that, write the whole terrible book. Because I think you might be fine, but I was raised, accidentally, um, by the schools, and you know, every be perfect the first time. Remember I told you they want to see my book when it's done? This is my sixth draft. It looks like a murder scene. So much red ink, okay? But you have to just keep going, okay? You have to power through because, and you have to let yourself not be perfect the first time. And that will add so much freedom to your life. You have no idea. You will find yourself just liberated from these expectations. And that's a wonderful thing. Step two, write all the time, okay? I once heard this story about this youth minister who goes away to church camp for a couple weeks in the summer, leaves his wife at home with the toddlers. And while he's gone, the family dog dies on the front porch. Now, she can't lift the dog, it's very large, and, and I know OK Humane is here, so, I mean, and my dog died this week, so, you know, this isn't funny, but she, she doesn't want to horrify the children, so she takes the kiddie pool and puts it on top of the dog, and he's gone for two weeks in the middle of summer. And I won't tell you what happened to that dog, but I will tell you that I needed that scene in my book. And I'm so glad that I wrote that down. So, with technology now, you can write things down everywhere. There's no excuse not to write things down if you want to write. And what this will do, it will open you up, just like that guy. And that's my one-year-old friend, Jace, whose parents are here tonight. And uh, he's not, he's in touch with his feelings. <laughs> but it, it will put you in touch with what you're feeling. It will make you listen better. It's a great thing to do. Step three, if you want to write, you have to read. You have to read all the time, everything you can get your hands on. Because you know why? You might have accidentally plagiarized someone already. Also, if you want to write, you have to know what other people are writing. You have to know other people who are writing like you. You have to know who's buying the kind of stuff you want to write. These are some of the authors I want to be like. So, but the whole point of this is, if you want to do this, if you want to do anything, forget trying to get rich. Do it because you love to do it. If you write, if you work with words because you love words, 
it will open your life up in a way that you can't imagine. So any job that you do, do it because you love it. Thank you.